four feet Dude, wide. Dude, it is by like huge. This thing. Guys, this is an unreal story that is never probably ever gonna happen again in my life. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we're driving about uh, three Ooh. hours. Three no, hours. Three no. hours. We got Kayla. We got Jacob. What's up? I don't even know where we're going. All I know is this big turtle tubs. They look like this. I don't only want one. We need one, actually. Am I right? Yeah. I need one. Paul needs one. Are you getting one, Jacob? I'm getting a the biggest one they have. It's a massive tub. It's like nine feet tall, five feet wide. You almost slapped her in the face. <laughs> I'm gonna do just the same thing. I'm gonna get the biggest one they have. We're gonna go look, obviously. Maybe I don't like the biggest one and like the medium sized one. I have no idea. We'll see. And I'm just gonna pick up the camera once we get there. The guy that owns this, his name is Wayne Hill. Wayne Hill. And he's like the biggest, he said, the biggest turtle breeder in the country. One of them, yeah. One of the biggest turtle breeders in the country. So this is gonna be an interesting video. Stick along. Also, towards the end of this video, I'm going to bring up the possum story that I've mentioned a couple times on my Instagram app. I'll if you don't follow me there. But I mentioned that I found baby possum possums on the side of the road and I want to bring up that story at the end of this but first let's go pick up this massive turtle bin it's it's, it's huge I think it's a hundred long by like four feet dude wide it is by like huge this thing is, look at this this thing is massive massive turtle bin this is where we're gonna make a little beach area to where they can come up oh it's gonna be so dope dude so and sick. you're getting one too right I'm getting one too. Jacob's getting one I'm getting one I'm gonna load these things in the back of this little truck here and uh, get it done Oh my gosh, this thing's gonna be, oh, it's not even that bad. Looking good. I right, gotta get one more in there now. Paul, did you think these tubs were gonna be this big? No, they're heavy. What are they, 120 pounds? Yeah, like 120 pounds. Massive tubs. We've always been working out with predatory fins, Rodrigo, so 120 is nothing. 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 Perfect. Boom. At this point of the video, you were about to see when I found the possums on the side of the road. The mom possum got hit by a car. The babies were in the pouch of the mom, almost like a kangaroo, is what we figured out, I believe, later on that night. That possums actually keep their babies in a pouch as well, or on their back when they get a little bit bigger. A few other things that we researched later on just to kind of see why the babies were spread out all over the road. But that is that. I found them all over the road, and I'm just going to roll right into the footage on my iPhone. Here we go. Guys, this is an unreal story that is never probably ever gonna happen again in my life. I was driving, I see this roadkill possum right here, this poor little mama possum. Next to that mom possum, I see all these little things crawling around. This is so bad. These are little tiny baby possums. Someone hit this mom possum right here, and as I'm driving, I see these little things moving all over the road. I'm like, what in the heck is this thing moving around? Can you scoot, go over a lane, please? I see all these little things moving in the road. I'm like, okay, I gotta pull over. So I do a U-turn, I come back this way. I'm ending up here. By the way, it's like two in the morning right now. No one's on this road. And the mom was pregnant. When it got hit, the babies just went everywhere. Like the baby possums went flying everywhere. I've already counted seven. I've saved three. The other ones, so you can see this turtle chunk. So it was just eating a dead turtle in the middle of the road. And in my passenger seat, look, so this one, I wasn't sure if it made it or not, as you can see, but it still isn't injured or ran over anything. This one right here is moving a little bit, you could see, right? A little, little bit moving, but they're so young, I believe they weren't supposed to be released yet. This one has hair on it and it's actually moving around. I got my camera right here, I was gonna bring to my mom. Look, wrapping its tail around the this little thing. Look how cute. It's like a little tiny mouse. Look at my hand. Oh my goodness. I am going to head to Nick's house. I was heading his way anyway. And uh, we're gonna see if we can put these in a bin and go to the obviously the sanctuary tomorrow morning and get it all solved. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this in my life. I did as much as I possibly could to get as many as I could off the road. I know it's dark, but that's pretty much the theme of this video. It was so random. I'm filming on my iPhone. My camera is in the back. I should probably grab it. I'm just mind blown. I got three little baby possums that I've saved. I'm gonna go take one more look out there, make sure I'm not missing any. I was not filming at first and I said to myself, what am I doing? I need to film this. How cool of a story would it be to actually save these little possums off the side of the road? So now I'm just taking one last look around the road, make sure none of 
the babies went flying maybe into the grass or something. You know what? I'm going to put this camera. Another one. Another one. This is exactly why I came for one more look. Look at them. Oh, my gosh. They're so tiny. Oh, my gosh. How many babies do possums have? I got to keep looking. That's another one. That means we got four so far. They, they could be as far as, I mean, that one was in the grass. So they could have crawled after she got hit. They could have crawled a decent amount away. It's all right, Mama. I'm going to take care of your babies for you doing another round i'm doing one more round i cannot leave this place until i know every single possum is picked up this is a main made road so whoever's driving on this road is definitely going pretty quick it is not exactly anyone's fault for hitting that possum obviously i believe that is it there is like three or four in the road i've saved the, literally the whole rest of them i am going to head home now and get these guys in a little bin with some sheddings that i apparently have in the back because I have pigs, so I always have sheddings in the back of my truck. I got a fresh bag. We're going to make a little box for these guys until the morning. Bro. What the? Dude. I want to hold this. Look at them all. What the? Oh, my God. What is this thing? It looks like a little rat, right? This is a possum? Yeah. No, oh sick. I saved them off the side of the road. Oh, my God. I'm not even kidding. Let's get all of them. It's okay, guys. Look how tiny. All right, so we're gonna make a little tiny hole that they're gonna sit in. I'm putting this guy right there. I'm not sure if he's putting that one right there. Okay, ready, Nick? We're gonna put, put him in. They were wrapping around my finger like a possum. Really? They were literally had their tail around my finger. Look how tiny. You can hear That's all so the mucus okay. that's in their nose and stuff. Yeah. I mean, think about it, the mom just probably blasted them out. So we are here. Tommy's here too. Possums have a pouch, just like a kangaroo. So very, quite possibly, all those babies were in the pouch of the mom. And when the car hit them, that's how they went flying. See the little marks all over them from hitting the road? That is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I was literally crying. Dude. And I don't cry a lot. That's very rare. I'm going to pick up something that's going to be one of his upcoming videos. I'm going to post this video before anything else. So Nick is going to bring him to the Animal Wildlife Sanctuary where we are located. It's Bush Wildlife. The sea camp can go there pretty often when he finds rescued animals or they need to get him an animal that was rescued from someone else. In this case, we got babies that were dropped from a mama possum that was hit by a car. I don't know what the chances are of me finding all these babies. It may be it was just meant to be and these possums were meant to live. I got as many as I could that I saw were alive. That's really the best that I could do. Now they're here with Nick. Nick, I guess we're just gonna transfer right to your footage in the morning. Stand the man Hi, how with are the you? plan. We're here in Chicago. Ugh. How are you doing? Everything okay. Welcome, Chicago. Yes. We are here, we've made it. We are heading to Aquascape headquarters in just a second here. I'm just gonna flip the footage right to when we get there. This week's gonna be nuts. Chicago, Canada, and then the Bahamas. I have got some crazy things in store for you guys, so make sure if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through Aqualand as I explain the rest of the story of the opossum to you. Nick never ended up filming bringing the possums to Bush Wildlife because his mom brought them instead of him. He was at football, his mom called him and said, hey, I gotta bring these possums in right now. So if you were curious where they are, they're at Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. It is located in Jupiter, Florida on, I believe, Indian Town Road. Three little baby possums. The fourth one did not end up making it, which I figured it wasn't looking too good. But the other three, they're living, they're rehabilitating them, and I cannot wait to get the news that the possums were released back into the wild like they're going to be. Very random, 2 a.m., I saw possums on the side of the road, and I did just what any other human being should do. I, myself, inside, could not just drive by those possums and say, Wow, look at all the babies in the middle of the road and let me not pick them up. That's just like, I don't know. If you do me one favor, just to get the algorithm going and maybe get this video on the Explore page, hit the like button. Hit the like button for me. Let's see if we can get like 20,000 likes on this video. I know it's possible. I know it's possible. If you're watching right now, 
hit the like button for me and for our little baby possums that we rescued. We rescued three of them today, and I bet you Mama Possum is very proud. So the turtle bin that I did end up buying. That thing is huge, and I've been telling you guys I want to do something for my turtles for a very, very long time now. Well, that thing that I got them is unbelievable. I've got so many plants I picked out from California at Jay at Prehistoric Pets. I picked out a bunch of plants, a mini waterfall, a ton of different things for this pond. All the materials are sitting at my house right now. I've got to do some plumbing on it, overflows, a lot of different PVCs that we're going to need to do. But it's just sitting there, and I can't even go home and do it. So right now, I'm just tweaking out. We could finally go to Blake's house, pick up all our albino readier sliders. Do you remember that? Do you remember this video? We picked up five albino readier sliders. They're ready to breathe. They're ready to go. This tub has this beach side too. We're going to put play sand on it, make it really cool with a bunch of plants. Oh yeah, the lighting is much better in this room. If you have not done so already, join the family. Hit the subscribe button down below. Ugh. Holy moly, my phone went flying. Hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free. And then after you do that, click the bell that is next to that. You'll be notified every time I upload. I want to shout out everyone that comments on these videos because right when I upload a video, it's unbelievable the amount of support they get with likes, comments. Support is just unreal. And I want to thank everyone right now, personally, from me to you. Thank you so much. But I do have today's positive comment shout out. Goes out to YG Gaming. Positive comment. No for real, love your work, Paul. Appreciate that. And if you want to win a positive comment, shout out and have your comment on the screen in one of these upcoming videos. All you gotta do is drop a positive comment down in the comments down below, and that is that. It's all I got for you guys today. 15% off pop sockets. Summer sale is going on right now, so check that out. Top link in the description. Check out the PC merch. Ton of stuff on the site. Thank you all so much. We saved three possums today and got the dopest turtle bin that's gonna have a lot of content coming here in the future, just shortly.